So what's going on y'all? It's the vegan foodie here and y'all know I am known for giving you the latest and the greatest when it comes to vegan food. And so um, my son actually referred me to the chef right here and I was super excited because when he told me what he was bringing me, I was like, say less. So stay tuned for the vegan foodie because I am going to try Chef Lani G's signature pasta dish. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so every time I drop a video like this, you get it. And make sure you hit the bell notification so you be up on it, boo. So stay tuned. So today we have a classic fettuccine alfredo with roasted asparagus mm -hmm. and shiitake and oyster mushrooms. Okay, so it's the plating for me. <laughs> Y'all can't see this for real, for real, but this looks so amazing. So I'm super excited to try it. Um, you brought me some edibles too, so I'm going to do a full review on the edibles. And it's, it feels so fresh and ooh. Yeah, just made uh, yesterday fresh Okay. strawberry rice krispie treats. And it's with real strawberries. So you don't have some, I'm gonna have some. And I only brought one fork, so he's gonna have to eat with a spoon, y'all. Sorry. Nice. So I am such an asparagus lover, if you didn't know. Asparagus are my favorite. But it's like, it's so easy to make. It is. So let's try your signature Alfredo. The lover, like, and what people don't realize with veganism, mm -hmm. we get offered a lot of fried foods and you know, right. a lot of the traditional burgers and stuff like that. But you don't really have too many people out here really stepping up with the vegan with the pasta. pasta. Yeah, like growing up as a kid, like Alfredo was like one of my favorite things to always make. So like, even before I was vegan and stuff, like I used to always make like Alfredo, like shrimp Alfredo and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, over the years, I'm like, man, let me try to like perfect it vegan wise. So it's like, honestly, this year, this is kind of one of the dishes I really kind of like mastered mm. how to make. I make, this, I make this sauce from scratch and everything, so. The sauce is amazing. It's so like creamy and just like buttery. The noodles, they aren't cooked too hard. I mean, they aren't cooked too soft. Not they too are hard. not hard. They're perfect, actually. Al dente. Mm. The mushrooms are seasoned to perfection because you know people don't realize you can fuck up a mushroom. Facts. The mushrooms like it's almost kind of like you know, like meat, like it cooks pretty fast. Right. Yeah, I love mushrooms. Mushrooms are a really great like meat alternative for a lot of people that don't know that. Yeah. Like shiitake mushrooms, oyster mushrooms. You can literally, I've seen people make like. Uh, like vegan crab cakes and stuff like that, mm -hmm. using like oyster mushrooms, or like, uh, what's those things called, like scallops. Mm -hmm. I, see, I used to work at a restaurant called uh, Cafe Sunflower. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, Buckhead, and they used to make these vegan like scallops, and they'd be like yeah. oyster mushrooms. Okay. And they'd, like cut them up, mm -hmm. and like season it, saute it in the sauce, it was so good. Yeah, this is so good. I'm really excited. To be able to, and I mean, and you're a young black man out here representing for the vegans, mm -hmm. you know. So I appreciate everything you're doing. This is so good, y'all. So um, tell the people how they can get this. So I can start. Um, well, I actually do like meal preps mm -hmm. on the side as well. So basically, you know, you can just follow me on Instagram, Twitter. And you know, just shoot me a DM and uh, contact me. And depending on like where you are in the city and stuff like that, I wouldn't mind, you know, making a meal for you and delivering it. Okay. Well, this is so good. It's vegan foodie approved. Y'all know I love to eat, and you know if I like something, cause I've eaten the whole video. Like I haven't even stopped. Like <laughs> I see. Like crazy. I'm probably doing a review, and I'm over here eating lunch for real. 
I remember <laughs> telling my boyfriend, I was like, because I, I did order some French toast earlier from Coffee Bay. And I was like, why did I do that? Because I'm about to eat, eat. So I was like, should I smoke before so I can be really hungry? Mm -hmm. So I literally prepped for this. So I'm excited because, and the portion amount is so big. So I literally have dinner. Yeah. So that's one thing I try to like do too as well. Because people think like, oh, vegan food is not filling or it's not like, you know, it's not enough. So like when I do my portions, I try to make sure people get enough. And you can at least have leftovers, like mm -hmm. for the next day, or like, you know, can you eat it with somebody else? Right, yeah. Well, kudos to you. Y'all know I'm always finding the best vegan chefs of the land. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the trenches with this, y'all. And um, yeah. And I love the fact that you are a young black man. Like you are like, a woman's dream. Like, you can cook any You know how many people ask me that every time? They be like, every time I tell people I'm a chef, they be like, oh, like, when can you cook me this? When you cook me that? I'm like, man, I'm about to fall in line. Like, <laughs> a lot of people asking me that. You know what? I used to date a chef in my younger years. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people really love that. You know, like, how I kind of started, kind of get like a little backstory and kind of how I started mm -hmm. was mainly like in high school, right? So mm -hmm. in high school, I used to um, sell snacks. I used to sell like uh, chips, you know, like Powerade, Gatorade, fruit snacks, Skittles, mm -hmm. brownies, cookies and stuff. So, you know, I always just love watching like food shows, like Chopped, like Food Network, all those competition shows. So in high school, I was like, man, what if I start like just doing my own stuff on the side and selling it to my classmates? Mm -hmm. So that led me to go to college, to uh, culinary arts at Atlanta Technical College. So I was like, cause I honestly didn't want to go to school. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. But I'm like, man, I know how to cook, I know how to bake. Think my food is good, so I went to school for that. And um, 2015, I still got one more class until I graduate, mm -hmm. but I learned a lot of um, just like great skills from like my different chef uh, mentors. And then, like, working at different restaurants, different vegan restaurants. And then, mm -hmm. you know, when I made the switch to go vegan in 2017, like, it just kind of changed my perspective on food and stuff like that. And, like, you know, that's why I've been sticking with it. And that's why, I like, you know, with my brand, I want to just help, especially people like us as black, like, mm -hmm. minorities, like, we need to, like, learn different ways of eating like you know i don't want to per se force people to go vegan and stuff mm -hmm. but i want us to see like oh there's something else out here instead of like the traditional norms of like soul food and stuff like that that we are already you know, accustomed to mm -hmm. so that's kind of like you know i would say like my backstory and like where i really got into it because i just i just love food and i love creating you know what i'm saying like just seeing people like expression when they eat my food and stuff like that like you know that really makes me feel good right well, look at my expression you ain't stopped eating yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, kudos to you. Thank you, Chef Lonnie G. He's actually going to be a part of the scavenger hunt that I'm doing. Um, so stay tuned for that. There's more coming up with the vegan foodie. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at the vegan foodie. I'm over here eating. I damn near don't want to stop, <laughs> but I got to. So stay tuned for more. I'm out. Peace. So I would love to see